For safety, this trailer is equipped with a fire extinguisher, a combination LP slash CO detector, and a smoke detector. Please check these daily, ensuring the fire extinguisher is full and smoke detector's battery and alarm are functioning. For the liquid propane slash carbon monoxide detector, just press the test button to ensure it's operational. The LP slash CO detector operates off your coach battery. If the battery is low, it will chirp intermittently. To fix this, plug the trailer to recharge and press the reset button. This is common when dry camping in cold weather areas. To check your water and battery levels, use the test panel located in the bathroom. Pressing the buttons will display the levels of the fresh water tank, gray, and black water tanks, as well as the battery charge. This will give you an approximate idea where your levels are at, so you can better manage your finite onboard resources. The water heater works either on electric or propane. Simply turn it on when needed. It only needs 10 minutes during summer to get up to temperature and about 20 during cold weather camping to heat up. Don't leave it on. It is designed to keep the water up to temperature. So when not using hot water, you'll drain your propane tank unnecessarily. To operate the toilet, you will need to either have a water connection or make sure the water pump is on. To flush, push the pedal down with your foot. If you are dry camping, no hookup. You'll need the water pump on or no water will come into the bowl. This stove works on propane. There are two burners with two knobs. To ignite, press and hold down the knob on the light position. Use a match or lighter. Make sure to keep the knob pressed down for at least 10 seconds after you see a flame then release and adjust the intensity as you desire. Pro tip, if your stove is not igniting, check your propane tank outside. You might have turned the valve off. This fridge operates a little differently than the one in your house. The first thing to know is that it takes about eight hours on average to cool down. Less when cold outside, more when hot. Just like your stove, it works off LP gas. Keep in mind that it needs to be somewhat level to operate. To turn on your fridge, open the freezer door, press the on-off switch, and wait five seconds. If the check light stays off, your fridge is working. If the check light comes on, you'll wanna go check that your LP tank valve is open. You will also need to reset the fridge. To reset, turn the fridge off, wait five seconds, and turn it back on. You'll also see a gas button. This fridge works off your LP tank, but can also work on electricity when your trailer is connected to a power source plugged in at a campsite. You will need to be connected to a power source to use the air conditioning and the microwave. They will not work off your battery. While this vehicle can be cooled or heated, the rooftop AC system is separate from the heating. The AC controls are very simple to operate. You have the fan intensity and the temperature control. Again, you cannot heat the interior with your AC. This unit is very efficient, but just like anything else, it has limitations. You can expect this unit to cool the interior at most by about 15 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit compared to outside. As previously mentioned, the heating system is separate from the air conditioning unit. You'll find the thermostat on the wall. It controls the heating unit, which is located here. This system doesn't need full power to work. It uses LP for the heat and the battery to operate the fan. To turn on the heat, move the top lever from the off position left. You should feel some resistance and then feel a click when it engages. Adjust the temperature to whatever feels comfortable to you. The system will come on and off as needed to maintain the temperature you selected. If you are dry camping, please know that the fan will run at most two hours total on a full charge. Remember the system will come on and off as needed. So two hours is two hours of fan runtime. We recommend making sure that you have a full battery if you are dry camping in colder weather, or better yet, be plugged into a power outlet. The dinette table comes down to make one of the two sleeping areas in this trailer. Simply lift the table, remove the poles, and use the table to bridge the gap between the seating areas. Use the back rest cushion to complete the mattress as such.
please refer to our website, QR codes, and or contact our 24-7 traveler assistance if you need any additional help. They can be reached by text at 480-470-6583, by phone at 800-334-4110, or by email at tagroup at cruiseamerica.com. Enjoy your journey.